makeup lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name's Helen and I'm 43 years old and I live here in miserable Derbyshire. It was a really nice day yesterday, it was sunny, it actually went 15 degrees and today it's cloudy and miserable. There we go. But hopefully I'll be able to cheer up your day today. So today is one of the things that I've been waiting for for quite a few weeks and it finally arrived is my Harris Reed collection. I can't believe I managed to get my hands on one. I love it. I absolutely love it. And of course it's from Mac and Harris Reed. You, you've read about her, you know what she does. She does amazing, amazing work. She's 100% inspirational and she's just an amazing person. She's brought makeup for everyone and that's what I love about it. And yeah, the packaging, beautiful see how big it is yeah really 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 good packaging i didn't expect it to be as good i must must be honest uh, i thought it'd be about half the size uh, because the contents are a little on the smaller size so that the you know the travel friendly so i did not expect this so if you haven't seen one of these before i'm going to show it you okay so obviously it says on there mac harris reed open it out it opens out like a bit of a storybook so I'll just get it going first there we go and it does like a pop-up <laughs> pop-up thing like that I'll show you the pop-up it's just so beautiful I just love the idea and it's like it's like a Punch and Judy and there's a castle you you've got your you know you've got your is it like a skull or just a face it's like oh no it's the moon i beg your pardon it's the moon with a crown and everything on like men and women united is i love it I'll... <laughs> i used to love pop-up books when i were a kid so this is an adult pop-up book yeah and she's done a beautiful saying here on this side uh, oh yeah and it continues on to the other side I'll just show you them briefly then I'm just going to read them out to you so yeah that's what it looks like see how big it is <laughs> so I'll read you out the sayings from uh, from Harris so on the first side and this is what I really love about this it says this is for the little queer kid on the playground with their mother's lipstick in their back pocket I love that I really do Um it's you know you can you know there's a story there that's what i like about her work there's a story behind it you know it makes it real and on the next bit it says i give you fluid freedom utter self-expression and the tools you need in your toolbox saying goodbye to labels or rules of what wet men women and non-binary individuals can do and be use this line not just as makeup alone but as tools to pave the way for all the little kids out there trying to feel accepted and comfortable showing who they are on the outside. And it's signed Harris Reed. I think that's absolutely beautiful. I really do. Uh, it, it, it blew me away. It really did blew me away. You know, when I opened it up, I did not expect that. And on the inside, <laughs> this reminds me of tarot cards. It really does. I'll give you a good look at that. Of course, you've got your man, woman as one. It's supposed to be like Renaissance art, but I, I do really think of tarot cards when I see it. Then you've got the other bit and you have your um, products are behind these little pulley out bits. And you can see the shiny hearts there on the camera. That's brilliant how that's picking that out. Yeah. Oh. I just couldn't wait to show you. I really couldn't wait. It's amazing. I'll just close that up and then on the back, it's just the same as the front. So I'll pop that down and mix it. It's quite heavy, quite bulky. And inside that, you also get this, a lovely picture of Harris herself. She's absolutely gorgeous. And look at that hair. And there's um, an, another speech by, by Harris. So I'll, I'll read this out as well to you because not everybody's going to be able to get one of these. So I'll read out, you know, what, what this does say for you. 
So this is a story for the little queer kid on the playground with their mother's lipstick in their back pocket, nervous of fully being who they knew they could be, scared because they didn't, didn't believe they could be beautiful the way they thought beautiful looked, strong the way they knew strong could look, or powerful the way powerful should manifest itself on one's exterior. I've learned so much since then. The world doesn't define standards of beauty, strength or power. We do. We write our own stories. Over two years in the making, hand designing, creating, developing, lovely, loving, travelling, crying, laughing, collaborating and pinching myself every day along the way, I unveil one of my proudest achievements, Mac Harris Reed. I give you fluid freedom, utter self-expression and the tools that you need in your toolbox, saying goodbye to labels or rules of what men, women and non-binary individuals can do and be. There are no brushes or tubes, it's all about using your fingers and putting lipstick on your eyes or cheeks, eyeshadow in your hairline and using highlighter as body shimmer, having fun being who you are and making your own rules of beauty because everything else is thrown out the window. Use this line not just as makeup alone but as a tool to pave the way for all the little kids out there trying to feel accepted and comfortable showing who they are on the outside. And I really do love that because that does hit home to me. Um, when I was younger, obviously, as you can see, I, I, I'm not thin. <laughs> um, but yeah, growing up at school, uh, I was bullied quite a lot because of my weight. Uh, I didn't think I was pretty enough. And I actually did have a bit of a, a passion for makeup then when I was quite young. Uh, I want, Something I did want to get into, but I felt because I was fat, and I was bullied and that I wasn't pretty enough to be able to go into makeup and that is something that I've, I am really proud that people like Harris are saying no hang on a minute you are beautiful you are powerful it comes from within be yourself and it's took me 43 years to learn that so yeah Things like this really do mean a lot to me and I'm sure there are millions and millions of people out there as well who think exactly the same. So thank you very much, Harris, for this. I'm welling up a little bit here. Anyway, right, back onto the makeup before I start crying. Um, I am actually wearing all of Harris's makeup, uh, apart from the lashes because they don't come with it. The lashes are actually the new Colourpop um, Bambi lashes. Uh, what I did was I did use my fingers uh, on my eyelids and then I did blend out a bit with a blending brush. Um, I did struggle a bit with the lips. I couldn't get the definition I wanted, but that's just because I'm not used to using fingers, you know, to do um, a lipstick. Um, I think with the lighter colours, yes, I could have got away with it, but I wanted to use the, the dark colour. Um, so what I did is I just used a lip liner just to tidy up the edges and just to make it look like how I wanted it to look. And then I went ahead and put some of the uh, the highlighter. I don't know if you can see or not. Um, it's the gold one. And um, just to put a bit of shimmer on my lips as well. So yeah, so everything you see here is 100% obviously not the foundation, but you know, the, the eyeshadow, the lip. Um, the eyeliner as well, the coil eyeliner, I uh, can't, can't say it, the coil, coil eyeliner, you know what I mean, your, your pencil. <laughs> um, I use that um, just on the bottom, because um, obviously I've got the lashes on. Right, so let me show you what you get. So obviously they, uh, let me open it up, they, all the makeup was behind these little, little things. There we go. And um, I keep my makeup out of them because they are quite delicate. I actually ripped that one. I was a bit disappointed. So I keep them out of the box and just place them on top because it is deep enough to be able to do that. Um, so, yeah, I love it. <laughs> I really do. You can tell, can't you, how much I love it. So I'll pop that down and get onto it. So got my swatches ready and I'm not going to use any brushes. Uh, I haven't used any primer. Uh, I'm going to do exactly what she says, just do what you want and go for it. So I'm not going to use brushes. I'll just quickly show you the products and I'll tell you what she calls them. So the 
eyeshadow is called Fighting for the Beauty of Fluidity. And it has a little plastic thing, the actual shape of the pans. I don't know if you can see that. That goes on the top, so there's no mirror. And um, they're not called anything. There you go. Uh, there's just do, do, do. there's two mattes, the rest are like shimmer colours. I haven't actually used the mattes. Um, I use the uh, top gold, that one, uh, the green and the black, and I think I did dab that one as well. There you go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And they are quite small, so you really do need to use your fingers, you know, to, to get into them. So that's, that's the um, eyeshadow. Okay, and the next one is, I'll just check it first. Oh, these are the three lipsticks. Again, beautiful packaging, the three lipsticks. I use the darkest one. So yeah, if I use the middle one, I wouldn't have needed a liner. I, I, it's not an eyeliner, is it? Lip liner. Get it together, girl, get it together. Uh, <laughs> I suppose I could have used an eyeliner. Uh, but yeah, I used the darkest one, so that's why I weren't happy with the shape of it at all. Um, but yeah, a dark plummy shade, that's the one I used. I did try the middle one with my finger, as you can see. That's that one. And this one is called Lipsticks Times, th times Three from Harris with Love. Oops. And the last one is cream colour bases times two. Embrace your duality. Oh, sorry, again, same packaging as, as those. So I've used the red cream as a bit of a blush. I did only use a little tiny bit, but it's something you can build on. Um, I'm only just starting to get into blushes, so I'm doing like baby steps rather than looking like Aunt Sally straight away. Um, I'm still a little bit tentative with blushes, but I'll, I'll get there. It's like I still don't contour, um, but I'm not certain if I'm, it's something I want to do, to be honest, because yeah, I don't know. I, I quite like my face as it is rather than contoured. Uh, I might have, have a go at one point, but I'll, I'll let you know how that gets on. Um, sorry, and the other one is like a cream shimmery gold. And that one I use for highlight um, and corners of my eyes. So yeah, I do like, I do like highlights, seems to me, I am a bit obsessed with those. Right, so I'll get straight into those. So put everything to one side. So I'm going to use my fingers. They are clean and I'll go for the um, eyeshadows first. So just bear with me. I'll just stand up. It's Pink Floyd today. <laughs> so this is the nine pan eyeshadows. So there are no names on them. So I'll just start there and go around. Okay. So the first one if you can see on my finger there we go so i'll go here so i'll do it like i normally do two good goes can you see that okay there they do feel really nice and luxurious you know when you're using them and this is um oops i'm going for the wrong color there this is the first uh, mac eyeshadow product i've ever bought uh, I have the lipsticks, um, but I've never bothered with the eyeshadows, and I think I might start up. <laughs> and this is that orangey matte. Oh, that's nice. Well, I should have used that one now. <laughs> I'm spoiled for choice. Um, oops, things rolling up. This is. I keep wanting to tell you what they're called, but they haven't got names. There we go, this is the last one on that row. That's that. Just right in my hand. So the next one, start off with a, a lovely, um, like a bone colour. So it probably won't show up very well on my skin, I'm afraid. I'm just I'm hoping it does. 
don't know if you can just barely see it there, a bit of a shimmer. Oh, I think I just caught it in the light then. But that is quite pretty that, I can see it shimmering. That would have been quite nice for a highlight colour. And the next one, I don't know why I didn't use this one because it looked look super cute. It's like a, a baby, well, not a baby pink, it's like a dus dusky pink. But very, very delicate. And the next one is the other matte, a matte brown. Oh, crikey, yeah, definitely a matte, that one. It's like, um, it's like chocolate. And we're on the last line now, um, this is the lighter of the golds. So undecided when when I wanted to use the gold. I was like, which one shall I try? And I used the more um, deeper gold. This is a very light gold. Yeah, I think you can you can see the difference there on the camera. And this next one is this greeny colour. Um, don't um, don't know what colour is like teal. There we go, so I put this on um, with the next colour, you know, in the outer corners of my eyes, because I do like a darker corner of my eyes. And this is the last one, this is the darkest of them all. It's almost like a charcoal colour. There we go, so that's that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch everything and then I'll take all of the... Um, you know the swatch off. Uh, excuse me, I'll just get out of the way. Oh, what I'll do is I'll use the um, coil, coil, coal, coal. Is it coil or coal? I can never make my mind up. Um, the pencil, uh, I, eyeliner. <laughs> I'm just seeing if this has got a name. Oh, it has got a name on it called Power Source. Oh, I like that. So, yeah, beautifully designed. I've used it a little bit, but not a lot. If I just ah, you can see it's like it's like gold got gold flecks in it. And you can see how easy that is to use. Nice and soft. There we go. Right, so I'm going to leave the lipsticks till the last. Oh, yeah, because I think, you know, with them being really, really gunky, um, I'll leave them till the last. Uh, I'm spoilt for choice now, so I'll go in. Have I shown it you? There you go. I'm going in with the, what I'd call like the blush colour, but obviously these are what you're supposed to use for anything. And they're so creamy, you know, you know when you put them on? See why I was so tentative when <laughs> I put it on my cheeks. So I'm going to do two coats like I do with everything. So like I said, these are very buildable. I mean, look at that. So you can go as deep as you want. Or not as deep. Just wipe my finger. And the next one is what I use for the highlight. Excuse me, I've still got a bit of red. That's it, I'll just clean my thing. They do feel really nice and creamy. It's almost like you'd really want to put it all over your body. You know, it's such a nice, creamy feel, that one. That really is nice. And I'm hoping it does show up just as nice as what it actually is. If not, you're just going to have to trust me. Um, it is really, really nice. So we're on to the three lipsticks now. There we go. I'm going to go light to dark. Okay, so I'll pop this one here, I think. This is the one right that was right in the middle. It does feel so weird having lipstick on your fingers. Um, I just need to get a bit more because I think, ah, oh, that's it. Yeah, 
this is why I struggled a little bit because I'm not experienced enough, you know, to put um, lipstick on using my fingers. Um, so I did struggle that way, but I will keep on practicing. And what does practice make? Perfect. I will get there eventually. Might take some time, but we do it. And okay, I'll go for the bright red one. I like this. And I'll pop it there. Whoa! <laughs> I so should have chose that one. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. And you can see that it's different. To the what I call a blush, and again, oh wow, <laughs> super buildable. I'm just wiping my fingers off, and then I've just got the one more, which is the one that I'm wearing like a black cherry colour, I'd call it. Okay, now you can see why I wanted to use it. There we go, I think we've done everything, so just wipe my fingers so we don't make an awful mess everywhere like I usually end up doing. There we go, right. Moment of truth. I'll show it you. I'll do it sideways, yeah. I'll go for the top ones first. Oh, that's pretty. There we go, people. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Let me go sideways. That's supposed to be a pansy. No one's just your honeycomb. I should say they're from um, Swatch Perfect UK, all of these swatches. So, yeah, you, I think you can just see that one there. Again, it's very similar to my skin colour. But, yeah, that one, um, when I put the... Um, the highlighter and I'm just trying to find it and I'll just quickly show you what I did so with the gold highlight I just dib dabbed on that just to bring it out a bit more there we go okay so I hope you've liked that That's, I, I'm really impressed with that I really do like that that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So there we go. That's my Harris Reed collection. I really do love it. Um, it's like I say, it's the first um, MAC eyeshadow set that I've got. So I'm, I think I'm going to buy some more, to be honest, because that's inspired me to do so. And I do really love it. And I do like how you can mix and match. Uh, I'll put that cream on top of lipstick and... You know, it's the first time I've used like a creamy blush. Normally I just, I'll use the powder. Because um, like I say, I'm a bit scared of using brush, uh, blush. Um, so yeah, um, I've learnt an awful lot today. And I've had a lot of fun as well doing my look. Um, yeah, go and get it. Um, I highly recommend everything. Uh, if you do struggle with like lipsticks, uh, maybe steer away with from the lipstick but I highly recommend you at least get the eyeshadows because they are beautiful they're so beautiful and this I, I actually thought I wouldn't be using this but I think I will because I do like it I like it very much and I do like that cream highlighter on lipstick and I can't wait to use it again so there we go enough chatter from me Um I hope you've enjoyed it um yeah and i'll see you again next week okay so please stay safe and keep your loved ones safe as well and hopefully we'll soon be out of this pandemic soon <laughs> thanks again and i'll see you next week all being well thanks a lot